once uh, once we've uploaded the video from the camera of the sermon, uh, you'll see here on the uh, on the desktop the date in which it was uh, uploaded. Uh, let's open that, and you'll see a file here that's a .mts. Um, there's also going to be a .mp4. Um, and uh, either one of those files uh, uh, is uh, more than adequate to use. Uh, typically, the MP4 is uh, quicker and easier to manipulate, and it's a little bit smaller and a little, uh, the quality is not quite as good as the MTS, but almost imperceptible. To edit down the video, uh, iMovie down here at the bottom more than adequate to uh, make the edits to the video and what we'll do is uh, we'll go through this and the uploading on to YouTube. Okay now that iMovie has uh, opened up uh, we can see that our uh, our media screen um, needs to have the video and the audio of the sermon and we'll go down here to Finder, and what you'll do is just click and drag into the media portion, and then it will uh, pop in here, right there. And then for the audio, sermon audio, you'll go up to the top to the Google Drive folder, and then grab that sermon audio. And then what you can do uh, is uh, highlight it, then click the button, and it drops it down into the appropriate uh, scene. And same thing with the audio. And then once that's done, um, you uh, can then drag in the either the sermon graphic or maybe even the uh, logo for the church that would be appropriate as well and once we've gotten the audio lined up with the audio of the video we'll then take the audio of the video and dump it to zero so there's no uh, echo or um, crossing of the audio streams once that's done we'll go to the top right here and click uh, that button and you've got all these options and the best way to do this would be to to go to file once we click on file uh, then you can rename to that Sunday's date and if there is a sermon title uh, that's fine and then any other tags you want to put into that and then next and then what we'll do is, uh, again, save it as that into our Google Drive. Um, that way, once we have, uh, have it in the Google Drive, we could then move it to our archives, uh, which is uh, the computer in the uh, secretary's office. So we'll click Save. And you'll have a, a bar here uh, that shows the activity. and. Uh, gives you a timeline of how long it will take that video to be rendered. Once the video is rendered, we will then upload it onto our YouTube channel for the church. That video will be following in our Westridge tutorial playlist.